published a paper on model dependent realism, um, which I didn't come up with it. Uh, Stephen Hawking and Leonard Melodinov came up with it um, in the field of physics. And the idea is that nothing, like we don't have any conception of what truth is. There is no truth. There is no reality, at least not in the context of our experience with it. It doesn't exist um, for all intents and purposes. And so, well, I don't know, like, for example, I don't know, when I go to ABAI and people are like, oh, well, that's not behavior analysis. It doesn't even make sense to me. It's like, what are you talking about? There is no true, real behavior analysis. Rather, what science is, is it's behavior. And so science is a behavior that we engage in to solve problems. Models, like verbal behavior, relational frame theory, ABC, three-term contingency, four-term contingencies, whatever, those are just verbal behaviors that behavior analysts or behavior scientists engage in to solve problems. And so now the question isn't, is this real or not? Um, the question is, does this vernacular, do these terms, do these ideas allow me to solve the problem in front of me? If they do, it's a good model. Verbal behavior was, is a great model for teaching elementary verbal offerings. It's perfect. If you need to get a kid to man for something, Skinner's model of manding is great. Um, however, if we want to teach a kid to take the perspective of others and engage in empathetic responding towards a peer, like true empathy, not just saying, oh yeah, I hear you, but like actually feeling what that other person experiences, I don't know if verbal behavior as a model gets us there. Um, RFT gets us closer, and at some point we're going to hit a wall with RFT, and some other verbal behavior, some other model will show up and it'll allow us to solve that problem, and I think that relational density theory does that. Um, and eventually one of you guys or someone else is going to find holes or flaws or a wall that we hit with that. We aren't even getting started on that yet. I mean, that's, you know, we have like three papers on the thing, so I'm not trying to compare the two. Um, but eventually that verbal behavior hits a wall and now we need new language, new ideas, new models to solve more complex problems and science proceeds and suddenly we have airplanes and cell phones um, and we're able to treat things other than uh, simple verbal behavior.